Spencer Tap Tap, and this is World of Jewelry. Okay, wow, that is loud. So, this is a Korean um, Android clicker slash idol game, very much like Abyssrium. Um, it's very simple. It, um, it's unfortunately not localized. It's not in English at all. Um, I'll have, there's a link in the description that'll help you find the game. Uh, it's very simple to play even without knowing what's going on at all. Um, at least, you know, verbally. It's, it's very simple. So basically, like all clicker games, you have a currency, and that's these little gems. So you can click to get the currency. Sometimes little things appear that give you more currency. Um, so first off, you just want to upgrade this thing. So you get more A's per, you know, it goes every two seconds. So, like always, you want to click a bunch at the very start. It turns out you end up clicking a lot less as things go on. Um, it's less complicated than Abyssrium. Um, it's kind of like, this system here is basically like Abyssrium's coral system. Um, except it's kind of the opposite. In Abyssrium, your most expensive corals give you the most per, you know, give you the most stuff per what you put in. In this, your cheapest one actually ends up being the best overall. So every 20 levels, it doubles either the rate or the amount of stuff you get. So we're down to one second per thing. And we just want to kind of keep, you know, get another little upgrade in there. And um, once we get below one second, we will get basically every half second, I think, is what the real amount is. But it'll um, start giving it constantly sort of um, constant uh, crystals or whatever energy, I guess I'll call it. That's right, Parker. So that's what that means when your timer goes to zero. It really, I think it's only every half second it gives you uh, that. That's what it seems to be, at least. So now we have that. Um, it's not fully upgraded. It can go way beyond 40. But let's get this one. So now we have two things that generate energy for us. I assume this is some kind of description of the crystal. Like, you get all these gems, because, I mean, it's a world of jewelry. But I, I can't... I haven't bothered translating most of the stuff yet. But, uh, as you can see for now, upgrading this second one doesn't really benefit us. Parky. Parky. As much as upgrading this one due to the doubling thing. But, uh, it's pretty cheap. But, uh, let's see if I have enough money for this. Or energy. Oh. Yes, I definitely do. So, the second thing you can do is upgrade this little base that you have. So that just multiplied our tap earnings by 10. They're still kind of garbage. But um, it also unlocked this, which we can't quite get yet. So basically, as we go on, you unlock things like more earnings per tap. Um, you upgrade some certain... Um, these are like little power-ups that drop from the tree sometimes, and you tap them to activate... <laughs> Uh, timed bonuses. Um, sometimes it just multiplies your raw earnings. I think that's what, that's what this one does. Um, and then there's yeah, there's a lot of stuff to unlock. I'm not sure what this one. This is kind of like the end game thing. Uh, so I assume this unlocks like the credits, maybe. I don't know. But uh, for now, let's just get this to 60. Uh, one annoyance is that this is not skippable, and it kind of slows the game down a bit. It also does not support multi-touch, oddly. You, you only get one touch point, which is occasionally a little annoying. Um, also, oh, we don't have enough yet. Um, there's also this secondary upgrade where you can multiply times 2, 5, 10, 20, I assume either 40 or 50 over here. Does it tell us? No. Um, but yeah, that, that's an added multiplier on top of the uh, whatever we get here. Upgrade this one to uh, oh, not quite yet. And so as you as you tap on this tree, these little power ups pop out. And like this one gives us ten taps per second. I oh no, it's way slower. It's I think it's one tap per second now. But like I said, as we upgrade this area, that power will be increased. We'll get other powers. This game is unfortunately pretty ad happy. And um, 
One of the biggest ways to get, um, by watching this video ad here, you'll get a pretty large amount of energy. So, and it's also, it's a multiplier of your per second energy. So I'm actually gonna spend all my stuff and for your own sake, I will cut out the freaking ad because I mean, you don't need to watch that. But, oh, this one's really important. So this um, doubles and later on quadruples your uh, energy per second production, which this game is mostly about the energy per second production. In um, Abyssrium, it's mostly about using your skills and then buying fish and stuff to increase your production. But this game, it's mostly just, you know, upgrading your passives. Like I said, it's pretty simple. It's really just these two menus. Um, this thing is just an ad for their other games, the company, I, I guess. I guess these are their games. And then this is just the configuration with a nice more ad than configuration options. This is just a link to rate it. This lets you change the music. Some nice chill music. I, I kind of wish the music would auto cycle though. And you can turn off all sounds, I guess. But there's really only the two tabs. Yes, yes, the McRib is back. Um, so, uh, let's just upgrade that. And so yeah, and unfortunately, it is a fairly ad-heavy game. Um, I'll try to remember to censor out all of the ads for your viewing pleasure. But yeah, as far as idle game, even as far as idle games go, the ads are like they're not abhorrently terrible, in my opinion, considering it's like free with no in-app purchases. But you're still gonna have, you know, you have to. It's one of those things where you're gonna have to view ads to, you know, get the best stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go watch an ad, and then I will get... See, since I doubled that, I'm getting, like, almost 6C, which is, like, a lot compared to what I currently get. So that's why it's a pretty big deal. Anyway, I'll be right back. Oh, I thought it freaking crashed. I, I hate Bluestacks. I'm, I'm playing this in Bluestacks so I can start over and more easily record it. And more easily is in massive air quotes, because this is actually really freaking annoying. But uh, now that we have that, we can upgrade our little base. Oh dang, we could have upgraded a little base before, but now hopefully we'll have even more stuff to upgrade. Um, I think that just multiplies all of our production by five. Um, is what that one did, did it? it? I think. And this one, I think, upgrades those little gem things that it drops. So as you can see, that um, yeah, that doubles the effect of those drop power-ups. This will multiply our tapping power by 100. Tapping is generally not the way to go in this game. The the, the reason you tap is to get the power-ups, really, like the the one that doubles your production. So as you can see, that that ad we watched was actually a really really significant amount of stuff. So as you add more stuff. There's, there's more stuff on the tree. There's more little duders. So like since we upgraded two things We should see some more duders up here. Yeah, we got one whole more duder um, An unfortunate thing about the design of this game buying a new gem is extremely expensive and not actually very productive uh, It's pretty much all about upgrading your first few gems. Uh, there's some definite design Complaints I have about this game like that. Oh, here we go. See this times two that I get which is way cheaper Is going to be way more significant than the gem. I'm going to buy that costs like I think a thousand times more See so yeah, I'm earning four or seven B for every half second from that Which I just paid so little for and then I paid a thousand times more to get this which oh it's oh Well, it's four B, but it's every what? 20 seconds? So yeah, it's really not that great. Um, you know, eventually you end up with all of these and it'll be, you know, cheapest to upgrade them instead of, you know, upgrading this. But, uh, balance is a little weird, but personally, there's only so interested I can be in Abyssrium, um, before any, without any, you know, updates. So I was looking for a new game to play on my phone. I don't really play, like, game games on my phone. Because, I mean, you know, you kind of need something where you can't screw up. So I've been trying out this, at least for today, anyway. And I'll show you my tree on my actual phone. I'll edit that in. 
But uh, that's pretty much what there is to show. Like I said, there's a link in the description. It's it's called World of Jewelry is what Google Translate um, found for its name, but it's not like listed in English in the Play Store. You can download it in English, unlike a lot of like Japanese-only stuff, or well, it's Korean, like I said, but uh, like I couldn't get the Senra Kagura card game because I guess it's only in Jap Japan, and they don't like, I guess it's region locked. But um, you can get this and it's free. You know, it's just, you know, ads. More ads than I would personally prefer there to be. But, uh, oops, speaking of ads, didn't mean to click that. But yeah, this is World of Jewelry. It's very pretty and chill. And if you, um, if you like idle games and you're kind of burnt out on your existing ones like I am, you might just want to try it for a bit. Like I said, I, I don't understand any of the stuff, like any of the Korean that's here. It really doesn't matter. Um, from icons or just what happens, you can pretty much infer everything. Um, I don't think there's really any major systems that I've overlooked here. It's, like I said, pretty simple. What's your final thoughts, Sparky? Yes. I think, I think he says he likes it, but he would like to see more improvements. I believe that's what he said. So this is the game on my phone. As you can see here, like I said, the very first one has way higher energy production than any of the other ones. And uh, generally it's a lot more efficient to upgrade that one. These other ones have gotten pretty cheap because I've been neglecting them. Turn that down a bit, I guess. I'm recording directly off my phone. Oh, come on. No, no. That's not what I meant to do, bro. That is... No, no, get, oh, oh, oh. oh, shut up. Oh my gosh. Okay, well. Yeah, sharing doesn't give you any benefits. It's, uh... Ah, Parky! Please do not stick your claws into my human meat flesh. So, um... Let's take a look at the little base here. And it's... It's doing pretty good. I, I think I'm about a third of the way through in terms of absolute number of rooms. I assume I'm less than a third of the way in terms of actual, you know, time it takes to beat the game. But, uh, I like the little base you build here. Uh, you unfortunately can't do anything really other than unlock the base, but, uh, it's neat to look at, I guess. Hello, Parker. But, um, and here's the nice, here's the, what a bit more robust tree looks like. See, we're getting 55e. This is about one day of fairly intense playing, I would say. Well, not intense, intense. Because uh, I got it, I didn't get it, like, this is my first day. And I've only been playing it, you know, a few hours. But uh, it's held my attention pretty decently through some of that. I was out and about, and, you know, whenever I had a spare moment, I was poking at all the little dials and so on. Um... Just to, this game, like I said, it's pretty easy to get to, to figure out, but I'm going to make a guide, and there'll be a link in the description to my guide on how to play this stuff, um, just in case you need some reassurance on what you're doing, and um, as far as I know, I, I understand pretty much the basics, I know, and enough to get you going. And it, it doesn't seem to be any more advanced mechanics unless something totally different unlocks at a later point, which, from what I can tell, the icons, like, until that very last icon, I think I understand what all of these mean. So I don't think any of these unlock anything super new, it's just, you know, multipliers for production. Yeah, yeah, ads. So, uh, yeah, that is, uh, the world of jewelry. Watch it get localized to a name that's like totally different and make me look like a dumbass. But uh, for now, that that's what I, I would call it. Unfortunately, Googling that name doesn't really bring up any results relating to this game. But uh, I think it's a fairly new game. And like it only has like 10,000 downloads too, which I, I, I can see this getting more than that. 
And even though I wish I could get rid of the ads, the ads are a bit intense. That's right, Parky. Like, uh, Green the Planet has less ad density than this. It's uh, it's another... I already did a video of that one, uh, showing off some of the weapons. But that was... That's another one that I've gotten... I enjoyed it, but I've kind of gotten to the end, so to speak, in that there's nothing really too much fun left to do. But yeah, that is Jewelry Planet. Or... World of Jewelry. Whatever. Alright, so I finished this game over the weekend, and I uh, decided I would show off kind of the result here. So, uh, I have all of the little brooms built. Um, nothing too exciting aside from what we already saw in the original video really happens here. It's, it's a pretty simple little game. I finished it over, you know, over the weekend after I started playing, so... It probably wouldn't take you more than a week, even if you're fairly, you know, casual about playing it. Uh, very cute, but you know, I definitely like to see it expanded on. Um, I just really like the art style and all the little dudes, like, pushing little cubes and the things. The This part's probably my favorite. This whole, just seeing the little guys, you know, fiddle with stuff. So here is the uh, final unlock. It just says Light of Mystery when you unlock it. Um, or it says, I see signs of a mysterious phenomenon. And this says Light of Mystery. Aurora has appeared in the sky. At least according to Google Translate. And so now that we bought that, nothing gameplay-wise actually changes. But um, if we go back to the main screen here, we get a pretty, you know, Aurora in the background, which wasn't there before. And um, everything's maxed out. Everything's, you know, there's not really anything more that we can do in the game. But, um, you know, it, it's a little change of pace. If you like clickers, you might check it out, poke around, you know. It's, a, you know, clickers are kind of simple by, you know, by definition. It, it's not an infinite sort of game like Abyssrium, but it was a nice, fun little change of pace.